Much like the saying goes, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. In order to survive, animals have developed ways to defend themselves from predators, making them live another day. Most of these defenses are just deterrents, giving attackers more of a nuisance rather than any real danger, while others can be downright deadly. With that note, today we're going to be looking at the latter and discuss 10 deadly ways animals defend themselves. You'd better make sure you watch out until number one, as this knowledge may save your life the next time you go swimming. Number 10. Suicide Bombers Ants are amazing creatures, also kind of a nuisance. They spend all of their lives in their colony working together to ensure its success. Each ant has specific purpose for which it was born for, one of which is to defend the colony from any and all enemies, and in the case of the Malaysian exploding ant at even the cost of their own lives. On the outside, this tiny ant is just an inconspicuous brownish-red ant. It lacks large mandibles, cannot sting, and generally seems like easy pickings for any predator looking for an easy meal. However, when these ants feel threatened, they raise up their rumps as a warning. Then, if the would-be attacker, for example, a much larger weaver ant per se, doesn't back off, one or more tiny ants bite down on it, angle their backsides in close, and flex so hard that their abdomens burst at the seams. By tearing themselves apart, the ants sacrifice themselves to protect the rest of the colony. When they explode, the ants unleash a secretion that is bright yellow, sticky, and toxic. Bad news for any predator who would happen to catch a mouthful of it. Number 9. A gut full of toxins. Sea cucumbers are the least intimidating creatures you'll ever see in your life. They usually lie motionless at the bottom of the ocean, content with filtering out tiny food particles floating around in the water, just living its pretty uneventful life to the fullest. However, if a sea cucumber is attacked, or at least feel threatened, it has all manner of defense mechanisms to ensure its survival. First off, they can change from a solid form to a liquid form, allowing them to escape into the tiniest of cracks. They can also disassemble themselves into many tiny pieces. This fools any would-be predator that they're already dead, then reassemble themselves again when the danger has passed. However, their most impressive and deadly defense mechanism is the ability to expel their guts through their anus, exposing their toxic intestines to the attacker, giving it a mouthful of poison as a fitting punishment for attacking this seemingly harmless creature. Again, seemingly. Number 8. A Deadly Coating of Poop One surefire way of making sure people don't come near you is by covering yourself in your own feces. Yeah, I know that sounds disgusting, but I'm pretty sure that it would work. Although I've yet to meet anybody who has tried to do this just to avoid people. Granted, it might work in that case. However, in the animal kingdom, many tiny critters use their feces to defend themselves from predators. Have you ever had a monkey throw its poop at you? Well, that's one way to do it, but these tiny insects use poop very differently. The potato beetle loves its own feces, and it's not afraid to flaunt it. To defend itself from any would-be predator, it smears its feces all over its body, kind of like a suit of armor, but made of poop. Aside from looking, and smelling, disgusting, there is another very lethal reason why animals avoid eating the potato beetle. The poop is poisonous. It just so happens that this beetle's favorite food is a plant called nightshade, an extremely poisonous plant. So, following the idea of you are what you eat, the feces of this beetle contains the toxins of the nightshade plant. To put it in perspective, chewing on a single leaf of this plant can effectively kill a person. So, what if someone ingests it in its concentrated potato beetle poo form? Not gonna be a good day for anybody. Except for the potato beetle, it's pretty happy. Number 7. Weaponized Bones we humans have developed quite a number of ways to defend ourselves. First and foremost of these would be the creation, development, and use of weapons. Some animals have also gained the ability of using weapons. But since animals can't make their own weapons, barring a few with opposable thumbs, some of them had to be very creative with it and use whatever is available to them. In the case of the next animal on our list, it is their bones. The Iberian ribbed newt has an amazing, if disturbing, way of dealing with predators. When threatened, the newt can push its ribs forward and through its stretched skin to create defensive spikes. But not just any spikes, they're also poisonous. While the attacker gets a mouthful of poisonous spines that cause severe pain or possibly even death, the newt itself experiences no significant negative effects from the gruesome strategy. It can perform this skin-piercing maneuver over and over again during its life and heal itself each time without a problem. The hairy frog is also an animal that uses its bones as weapons. When threatened, the hairy frog's main defense is to crack its own finger bones, piercing them through the skin to their toe pads, and then use them as claws, thus giving it the nickname the Wolverine Frog. I'm the best there is at what I do, bub. Sitting on lily pads and eating flies all day. 
Number 6. Choke Artists Have you ever tried to eat something that looks so good, but as soon as it enters your mouth, you couldn't spit it out fast enough? I'm sure that's what happened to people who did the stupid cinnamon challenges hundreds of times, and it's never a pleasant experience. The next entry on our list uses the same gag reflex to avoid being eaten, and sometimes even kill its unlucky attacker. The hagfish is one fish that you wouldn't want to put in your mouth. When threatened, the hagfish expels a thick slime that mixes with the water. The predator then needs to focus on escaping the gill-clogging goo. While the predator gags, the hagfish slips away. This slime is so thick and sticky that it clogs the gills of any predator, sometimes with fatal results. This slimy ability is also quite effective. Some scientists obviously with a lot of time in their hands observed hagfish being attacked in the wild. Out of 14 observed attempts for a predator to prey on a hagfish, not a single one was successful. The hagfish won every time. It's clearly a great solution since the hagfish has been around for some 300 million years. Number 5. A Lethal Glow A defensive strategy for many animal species is to have vivid colors or patterns that warn off would-be predators. But what if you spend so much of your life in the dark as a nocturnal creature? Colors won't do much good in that kind of environment, so you'll have to put on a light show. That's what this species of millipede of the genus Motixia does. It has a bioluminescent glow to warn away predators. Predators would be smart to take heed though, and why is that? When they're disturbed, they ooze toxic cyanide and other foul-tasting chemicals from small pores running along the sides of their bodies as a defense mechanism. At this point, you should know that cyanide is one of the most toxic substances known to man. Just a bit of it can kill a fully grown one. Glowing in the dark and oozing cyanide is certainly one of the more original defense mechanisms of the animal kingdom. Number 4. A Lethal Combination What if you want to use poison to defend against attackers, but don't make any yourself? The boxer crab, also known as the pom-pom crab or cheerleader crab, came up with a clever solution. Boxer crabs pick up and carry around a tiny sea anemone in each claw. When disturbed, the crab will wave the anemone to warn off predators. But if the predator attacks, the anemones pack a powerful sting. It's an absolutely genius way to keep attackers at bay, and the anemones benefit by becoming mobile and thus potentially gaining access to more food. But it's not like the anemones have much of a say about it in the first place. Boxer crabs don't have to have anemones to survive, and sometimes they'll use coral or sponges instead. Number 3. A shocking offense is the best defense. The electric eel is, in my opinion, the most appropriately named animal ever, for very obvious reasons. Electric eels are the only known animals that can generate its own electricity and use it for its own benefit. A fully grown electric eel will generate about 600 volts of electricity in short, intense bursts that last only about 2 milliseconds. This electrical charge comes from thousands of muscle cells that can create a tiny current. A 6-foot eel, for example, has about 6,000 muscle cells working together to generate those 600 volts, which is quintuple the voltage contained within a standard wall socket in the United States. Although the electric eel uses its ability primarily for hunting by stunning fish around it, making them easier to catch, it does discharge a large voltage every time it feels threatened, which had fatal results in humans a number of times. Now it's time for the day's best pick. And today we're going to be looking at two different animal defense mechanisms that are definitely effective. But are they deadly? Number 2. Blood and Chemicals First off, we have a lizard that shoots blood from its eyes. The Texas Horned Lizard is a scary looking creature. Brown, plump, and perfectly camouflaged in its native sandy environment, its first line of defense is its spiky demeanor. If the sharp spikes and horns don't ward off predators, the lizard steps it up a notch and squirts a well-aimed stream of blood out of its eyes. The stream of blood, which can go as far as 5 feet, is mixed with a foul-tasting chemical that wards off predators. But this odd weapon comes at a cost. The lizard may release one-third of its total blood supply this way. This amounts to 2% of its body mass. Yes, disgusting, but is it deadly? To the lizard, at least, it might be, especially if it loses too much blood. And then we have the bomber deer beetle. This is another species that sprays a noxious substance minus the drama of dying in the process. That's because, in this case, it's an individual defense mechanism rather than one that benefits the colony, so dying in the process would defeat the purpose. The bomber deer beetle doesn't just spray something that smells bad like a stink bug, it takes the substance to a whole other level. Bomber deer beetles send a scalding hot chemical spray all over their attacker. Some of the examples of this is actually kind of shown in Starship Troopers with some of the insect aliens shown. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe,
subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number one, Blue Rings of Death. Ah, the blue-ringed octopus, a beautiful creature with its striking colors and blue circles. We've talked about this little cutie a lot of times on this channel. However, in the animal kingdom, beautiful often equates to deadly, and this is exactly the case with this cute little adorable animal. Who can kill? The colors and patterns are a clear warning. Don't touch or pay the price. The blue-ringed octopus, despite its small size, carries enough venom to kill 26 adult humans within minutes. Their bites are tiny and often painless, giving bite victims a false sense of security. Oftentimes, victims have no idea that they've been bitten, and then the venom does its deadly work. It starts with a respiratory depression, and then paralysis starts to set in, and when your entire body gets paralyzed, you know what soon comes after. To make matters even worse, no blue-ringed octopus anti-venom is available. So if you get bitten by one of these deadly creatures out in the open ocean, you're pretty much doomed. Which daily defense mechanism impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.